sorry. Oh man, the timing on this one, man. What is good, everybody? Today we are reviewing the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 22 John Cena figure. And the day I'm posting this review is legitimately hours after John Cena has announced that 2025 will be his last year of in-ring competition. Huh. <sighs> Doesn't feel real. I have a lot of emotions. If you guys are unaware, John Cena is actually my favorite wrestler of all time. Well documented on the channel. I have a crazy John Cena figure collection. It's been well documented. It's been well documented. If you want to catch up on the lore, well, you can go back and do so. But feeling a lot of emotions right now. Don't really know how to process it. You know, I grew up with this man. Grew up watching him, of course. Guess you could call him a hero of mine in some ways. And all I can really say is, it's been a hell of a run. I'm just glad that I was born in the time to actually witness it from a small kid into adulthood. And it's just incredible. I'm obviously saddened by the news. But at the same time, it's kind of been like he's been away for a while at the same time, you know? He's been under that part-time umbrella. But I'm going to do my damnedest to be there for his final ever match. And that's what I plan to do. But I don't want to get into the whole thing. But if you guys were kind of thinking about my initial thoughts or whatever, man, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. Sweet. But today we're going to dive into the hell into this review. And I'm going to tear this figure to shreds possibly. But nonetheless, man, if you guys want to grab this figure already, you like what you see, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10%, of course, when shopping over there. I greatly appreciate it. But today we're diving into the Ultimate Edition John Cena from Series 22. We're no longer on the beach. Saddened to see it. But we are back. And the timing could not be any more perfect than to review this Ultimate Edition John Cena. Hmm. But nonetheless, we do have a more modern Cena right here. It's the most up to date gear if you don't count money in the bank of course but here is the figure was not happy about this figure initially man was not happy about this figure i still don't know how i quite feel about it you got the handsome young gentleman over there you got a nice product shot of the figure up here from a prototype it actually looks damn good on the back of the packaging right there you have john cena on the bottom right here you got the bio read all the different info john cena on the side all the good jazz but nonetheless man we're gonna crack this john cena out of the packaging find out what he's all about put him on the rotating base see if this figure is as shishy as i think it's gonna be or will it actually surprise me one thing i am glad about though is that I don't have to make a custom of this gear anymore because Mattel gave it to us so that's great but let's shut the hell up and get into this John Cena ultimate so here's our new Ultimate Edition John Cena figure out of the packaging. We are going to discuss it in grave detail as always. There's some interesting things going on with this figure that I had not previously known about it, which is good or bad. We're going to find out together here in the review, man. But we're going to dive into everything about this John Cena Ultimate Edition from Series 22, man. But anyways, let's dive into the accessories that you get with John Cena, and then we will dive into the John Cena Ultimate Edition Series 22 figure itself. I mean, for John Cena's accessories, you get a pretty good slew here. The only thing missing from the Ultimate Edition quota is going to be a championship belt. Now, it wouldn't be accurate if he came with a championship belt, so that's fine. But getting into head sculpts, we have seen this head sculpt before. Nothing new here. We saw this on the top picks, John Cena, and the Elite 95, if I'm not mistaken. But it is the modern haircut, the slick back haircut right there. Pretty good likeness, I'd say. It's kind of got, I don't know, it reminds me of Bart Simpson or something. Has a very weird smirk going on there. But then what's funny is these new head sculpts, quote-unquote, are pretty much the exact same head sculpts we've seen on his other previous Ultimate Editions, the basic 100 head sculpt, except it has the modern hair sculpted on it. So it's kind of a weird thing where it's the same figure head, it's just sculpted new hair on top, but the likeness is uncanny. And then they've gone and done the same thing here where they use the same Ultimate Edition previous yelling head sculpt, they just sculpted hair onto it, which isn't a big deal, you know, at least the likeness is good. And they got rid of that derpy, weird head sculpt. This one's kind of derpy, but that one that they threw on the previous two John Cena Ultimate Ultimate Editions, I can't stand. The one where he's just kind of sitting there. What the hell? Is awful. It's a terrible head sculpt. These are actually, you know, they suffice. I would have liked to seen, you know, new expressions and whatnot, but I'll, I'll take these. I'll take these. And it's not like, like, I like the smiling one. It's very good. I like the yelling one. It's very good. It's just, would have liked to seen a little bit newer, but I can understand it. It gets the job done. We also get an Ultimate Edition shirt in terms of a no Velcro. So you got the You Can't See Me graphic on the back. Anybody that's ever had custom shirts like this, they know how nice they are. No Velcro is just amazing. You even have all the logos, which is very sweet. Again, not my favorite gear that he's ever worn to the ring, but it is his modern gear. I don't hate this gear. I'd like to see some throwback John Cena's with this. No Velcro and everything, but the shirt fits okay. I, I don't think it's a perfect fit, but it does fit pretty good, I think. A lot of custom shirts you have will have where the collar's real low. This is very good and nice. I think they did a good job here, and it fits the figure good enough. And in even more impressive details, they actually added that WWE, you know, 
know, logo down at the bottom right there, the little verified thing. And I can't remember exactly what that looked like on the shirt, but I'm glad they added it there. It's a nice added detail. And another thing that popped me hard was finally including the towel. So many attires and stuff, they could have done this years in the past, but they have finally given us a towel. Now, when we first saw this at WrestleMania 40, I thought this shish was going to be cloth. And I was like, how the hell is a figure going to hold that towel? But making it out of rubber was genius. It's so genius. And you can even see the, the details in this sculpt. It looks like a damn towel. It's kind of crazy, but it has the graphic on there and he can grip this and hold it. It is a thick, malleable towel here. I guess not that malleable, but you know what I mean. It's it's a nice rubber accessory that is going to look good in photography. It's going to look great on display. Just an excellent execution by Mattel. That was genius thought right there. And another genius thing is having the towel tucked into his back pocket right here. And it looks like a folded up towel. So you can port this into the back of the shorts, which I think is, again, just so beautiful. So you have the unfolded holding towel for the entrance and you have it where you can have him, you know, running down the aisle, whatever you want there. So I think that is pretty damn good there. They did a good job. Mattel knocked this out of the park. And then what would Cena be without his hat? You have the nice navy blue or darker blue on the edges there in the back. And then you have the lighter blue with the never give up logo. And it has the orange bill in there. And it fits all the head sculpts pretty decent, I guess. It's not perfect by any stretch, but you can get the hat on there. You know, you got to finagle it a little bit. It may sit a little high, but for the most part, I don't, I don't despise it. I don't despise it. You can finagle it enough to fit on there. And it does kind of sit high on certain aspects of it. But again, you got to force it on there. You got to get it on there. It will fit. It'll definitely fit. You'll see it the photography at the end there. You'll get it to go. But I'm glad they included the hat. The hat is always necessary for a John Cena figure. Outside of that, it does come with mic holding hands or weapon wielding style hands. He comes with what they call you can't see me hands. But I've said this before. He doesn't do you can't see me with his hands split out like he's doing a handstand. Like if you were doing a push up or you were doing a handstand of some kind, you wouldn't do what you do for a you can't see me. You can't see me is more of, it's like the throne sitting hands, I feel like. You know, you kind of have like a, you know what I mean? Like a claw kind of hand, but you're not, you know, you don't flatten your hand like this and do it like this. You kind of look weird doing that. But they would call that you can't see me hands. We also get the brand new Kawhi Leonard Ricochet style hand mold for him to do the salute or the hand shaking style pose hand. You can bish slap somebody. Lots of ways you can do that. But I do like the new improved Ricochet Kawhi Leonard hands. And last but not least, he does come with two fists to beat the hell out of every single son of a bitch that steps in between the ropes. So getting into Cena starting at the head sculpt, we already discussed it. It's pretty much the basic 100 John Cena head sculpt, except the haircut is longer. It's a more veteran John Cena, if you will. But going down into the torso, you guys know I despise this torso choice. And it's especially weird when you put it on the short short small, which we've never seen before. But I will say, you know, from back far, it looks weird, and we'll get into that. But I don't know. I think it's not as bad once you're posing them around. I don't notice it as much when I'm posing them around, but I still hate this torso. It only works for like five guys, and I don't like it for Cena. I just think it's way too muscular. It just doesn't look realistic, and I like realism, but I also do like, you know, I'd like a chiseled figure, all right? I like it when it's accurate and nice, and, you know, you can get a little buff detail in there, but... I just think this is way too much for John Cena even, man. I just don't like it. I would l prefer a, I don't know, a lot lesser tone. I just hate the bumps and rumps and all the goose bumps and stuffs. All right. Got the bicep bands. Got the never give up over here in the darker color. On the wristbands, you do get the orange down here to match. It is the removable kind, so you can remove these, which I always thought was just such a good detail that Mattel uses. Over here, you do have the blue band with the you can't see me. Always goes on the right hand because you can't see me. It uses the right hand. On the back, you got the butterfly joints. You have the shorts here, which I think is fantastic. There is the hole there that you can see that you can port the towel into, which I think is just so good. But another good thing is the American flag here on the back pocket with the stars and stripes or the colors on the belt. And then you can port this into here. Now I will say it's a little bit loose. It will fall out kind of. It's not stuck in there. And I would glue it, but then when he pulls it out to, to showcase it or whatever, then it's like oh, what the hell you do now? But I don't know. It's, it's definitely, it doesn't stick in there that great, but it's certainly worth discussing. I I like the navy blue color here. It's like a flat grayish blue that looks good. Got a little white schmutz over here. Can't get that off right now, but looks pretty good. He does have the lower legs in there or the knee braces or knee pads, whatever you want to say. Now, I will say, pretty sure this is a new lower leg mold here. I, I think I could be wrong about that, but he does have his calves in here, his lower leg. Got some more schmutz over there. And then he does have these longer shoes here, which again, this is a new shoe mold. And uh, I don't know if it's the same as Jey Uso because this is actually connected to the leg. 
I thought it would be its own shoe. It is not. This is actually a new piece here. So you have this whole entire lower leg connected to the shoe, which I think is weird. Ankles are very loose. I hope that he was right about getting rid of the shoe mold. I hope that they get rid of this because I already don't like it. Like, you have calf cut but no ankle cut, and these feet are very loose. I just need something new, man. Need new shoe molds, especially the Elise. The Elise is worse than the Ultimates. I can give the Ultimates a pass. The damn Elite shoe mold for John Cena, and they put it on every god dang figure that wears sneakers. It's just get the hell out of the yard. But getting into articulation, it's your standard head articulation. Again, one thing we've noticed is they're making these head cuts weird on the inside so that you can get a little bit more articulation. It's not quite a ball hinge. It's always a ball joint, but they're making it where you can actually get a little bit of posability out of this. Like he can look up a little bit. It won't stay as firm as you'd like, but still, you get some pretty good diaphragm movement here. You get the waist swivel. You know, the ab crunch on this torso isn't great. No Ultimate Edition really has great ab crunch, but he does have a good solid butterfly joint in there which I always appreciate on the ultimates you get the full rotation right here you do get the bicep swivel you get the double jointed arms which are great standard wrist hinge and all that he does have drop down hips which allows for a really wide kick and if you drop that down you can get a good toe kick in there but look how weird that looks man when you get that gappiness in there it certainly allows for certain good poses, but Jesus, I always feel like it's going to snap. You do have upper thigh cut, you do get the double jointed knee, you get calf rotation, but you do not get foot rotation. It's all in the leg right there, and he does have the ankle rocker right here, and the toe articulation, and it goes down and up. It's very loose, it's kind of loosey-goosey, you know, but at the same time, you can pose him around pretty damn well. I, I still struggle at certain points with the drop-down hips, I just think that they're way too loose, and they... they they come down way too easy. I see people say they like them. I see people say they hate them. You can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But let's get into some John Cena Ultimate Edition figure comparisons. And for your John Cena Ultimate Edition figure comparisons, here we have the first edition of the Ultimate Edition John Cena and then the second version of an Ultimate Edition John Cena. I prefer this one over the rest. This is actually one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Mattel WWE action figure of all time. And to get a new Ultimate Edition John Cena is fine, but all three of these guys use the same torsos and all this different stuff. I'd prefer a new torso. I just think that upper torso is way too damn big. But all three of these pretty much share the exact same shoe mold. I know that these are disconnected from the calves and these are not, but you can see that he's having the short shorts versus the longer jorts here. And you can see it makes him a little bit shorter there, at least maybe. I don't... It's hard to tell there, but I do want to compare it to one Elite over here. And if you put him in... I mean, it's basically the ultimate conversion of this Elite over here. I mean, if pretty much. I mean, pretty... For the most part, it pretty much is, man. But I you know, this Cena has grown on me, man. It really has. It's definitely grown on me, but I just think when you stand him back right here, he just looks weird. Like, his proportions are all wacky. You can let me know what you think, but I'm certainly surprised by this figure in a lot of ways. But I think that about wraps up our WWE Ultimate Edition Series 22 John Cena figure review. At the end of the day, it is a good representation of a modern John Cena, especially in the last year or two. I don't mind the head sculpts. You know, it's not my Cena I grew up with, obviously, but, and I would much prefer a throw back Cena here, but having this modern rendition, I like. I like that it's just some classic head sculpts redone in terms of the sculpt of the hair. I like this attire. It wasn't my favorite John Cena gear of all time, but I do like it, and again, I am glad that this exists because now I don't have to make it in custom form. I like the addition of the added details to the shorts with the USA flag, the stars and stripes. I love the removable towel. We've never gotten a towel accessory with any John Cena, so to finally have it here for this figure is amazing. And initially, I thought it was cloth for some dumb reason. I don't know why I didn't know that it was a rubber piece, but that makes way more sense. I was like, how the hell is he going to hold that thin piece of cloth? But now it makes more sense. It is a rubber mold there that makes a lot more sense. I like the texture of it. It is genius there. Great, uh, excellent job by Mattel in the execution of that. And I'm actually liking this figure way more than I thought I would initially, man. I did not like that torso. After unboxing it and playing around with it and posing it around, it really doesn't look that bad. Do I like this torso for John Cena, especially right here on this body mold? No, I do not. I don't. I don't. I don't really like it. But posing him around, doing some different things with the figure, it's not as noticeable. It's not as big of an eyesore as I thought it would be. And I'm actually, I had a ton of fun shooting it around. But I know that you know, in light of all the news of John Cena everything going on. I really did enjoy posing the figure around. Maybe it's just, you know, posing around my favorite wrestler of all time. Maybe that, you know, had something to do with it, getting back into the fetting and posing him around and all that different jazz. Maybe that has something to do with it, but it was a ton of fun. It was a lot of fun. I like all the accessories. The, you know, the towel being removable from the pocket, something we've seen with Jeff Hardy in the past is amazing. 
The claw shirt is great. Having no Velcro, I think, is awesome. I wish they would implement that on every John Cena moving forward. It's a fun figure, man. I actually like it a lot. I do like it. I, I thought that I would hate it, and it turns out I was wrong about this piece. And I'm not afraid to stand up here and tell you I was wrong. One thing that is weird, though, and I don't like is not having ankle cut. That does bother me. It only has calf cut right there, and that kind of... I don't know what's going on there. I know we touched on it in the J Ultimate Edition review. If you guys missed the J Ultimate Edition review, you definitely know, need to go check that out. We talked about... The new shoe mold, and we discussed it a little bit in this video as well. They did say that apparently he, we are getting a new shoe mold, and we'll, I guess we'll probably see that at San Diego Comic-Con. It's going to be a, a great day, and uh, you're going to get big jubilation from me when that day comes, and we get to actually you know, hear that from Mattel, see that executed in our figures. But it is a little weird to have the short, short mold with the taller shoes, given that I'm pretty sure he's never worn these high-top shoes in any modern interfacade. I mean, I don't think he wore these since like 2007, 8 ish I don't think he's worn, you know, high tops like this. I mean, there were times in the early 2010s, but for the most part, you know, he wasn't wearing the short shorts with the with the high tops down there. You know what I mean? It's always been the same shoe mold for the most part. Nonetheless, I had a ton of fun with this figure. If you guys want to grab this figure, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%. I was pretty shocked by this figure. I was they 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 won me over. They won me over with this one. Wasn't looking forward to it. Thought the torso looked weird, but after posing him around and stuff, and even just standing there vanilla, it doesn't look great. But I can say that he's fun to pose around, and he's a fun one, man. But anyways, man. In light of all the John Cena lore and news, it is bittersweet, and I know some people will be asking me down in the comment section below how I feel, and I've touched on it in the video, but it is bittersweet, man. He is the GOAT to me, and I'm sure he is to others, but man, what an era. What a time to be alive. I'm just glad I got to win. I can say I grew up in the best era of wrestling ever. In terms from when I started watching till today, that is the greatest however many years of wrestling in a stretch period to this point in time, and I stand by that. But a huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. We actually had two new sign-ups just the last couple days. Huge shout-out to my man Aaron McGowan for signing up. And a huge shout-out to my man Sam Pride. Huge shout-out to those fellas for signing up, man. I appreciate you fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your support. Always appreciate the Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. But I appreciate but I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of this figure down in the comment section below. If you grab this figure, were you, were you shocked by it? I was quite shocked by it. I'm interested to see our ultimates at the end of the year. You know, the top ultimates. I know we have a lot coming and all that, but... I was pretty shocked, man. Nonetheless, I'm getting the hell out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name, Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you guys later.